Hi, my name is Emily Johnson and this is my film and book presentation. To get started, I wanted to go ahead and state my purpose, which was to analyze the portrayal of people with autism in literature and films. I read the book Al Capone Does My Shirts and watched the movie Life Animated, so I want to start out by giving summaries of those, giving you a brief overview, and then moving into an analysis of the characters with disabilities. And lastly, I wanted to just state some takeaways and some things that really impacted me in my life and things that I hope to carry forward. So to go ahead and start out with the summaries, you see on your left is Al Capone Does My Shirts, a tale from Alcatraz. And it is this really fun story of this family, the Flanagan family, moving to Alcatraz Island, which is the infamous prison for criminals like Al Capone and Machine Gun Kelly. And this is told from the point of view of Moose Flanagan, which is the son, and his sister Natalie has autism. So from the very beginning, it discusses that the reason they're moving to Alcatraz is in hopes of getting Natalie enrolled in this school that will help her. Because back in that time, you had to send her someone away like Natalie who had autism in order to get them fixed or cured. And this took place in the 30s, so times are very different. Uh, the way that autism was viewed was very different. And if the school did not fix Natalie, then she would have to be admitted into a mental hospital. So it, this story goes through all of their crazy adventures. They never actually had any direct interactions with prisoners from Alcatraz, but Moose befriends a girl named Piper and they go on these crazy schemes and devise these plans. But the main point of the story was Natalie gets admitted to the school the first time, but is sent home two days after she first arrives because she is not ready. So the family hires this private tutor in order to help her improve her social skills, her language and motor skills, and they eventually reapply, but she is denied. So Moose writes a letter to Al Capone, seeing if he can pull some strings to get his sister admitted into the school. Well, a few days later, she receives her acceptance letter, and Moose receives a letter that simply states, done. And so the whole thing is, did Al Capone really get her into the school? Um, so it's just really fun, and it is a great representation of what a family looks like when they have a child with autism. Now, on the right, you see is the film, and it's titled Life Animated. And this was one of the most emotional movies I have ever watched. It, uh, focus, it's a documentary focusing on the life of a man named Owen Susskind. And at the age of three, his motor and language skills deteriorated practically overnight and he began to retreat within himself. His parents noticed and took him to specialists and they eventually diagnosed him with autism. And this documentary shows that as Owen gets older, he is searching for a way to express his emotions and communicate with people. And he finally finds an outlet, and that is through drawing Disney cartoon characters. But it's never the main character, it's always the side characters, because as he gets older, you see his language and motor skills improve, so he is able to communicate somewhat when, as he gets older. And he says that he is the defender of sidekicks. And so it's so, it's a beautiful story of him finding a way to express himself through art and finding a way to get his emotions out because they were bottled up for so long. Now I want to move into an analysis specifically focusing on these characters and their growth throughout the book and the film. Natalie Flanagan obviously is Moose's sister and like I said from the beginning it's very clear that there is a strange relationship between Moose and Natalie because the family is very focused on taking care of Natalie's needs and that's at the forefront of their minds and I mean it's completely understandable but you see that Moose holds some resentment because he kind of is pushed to the wayside and I think 
I appreciated that because it was so real and families truly do struggle with that every day, making sure there's a balance, especially when you have a child with a disability because you feel like all of your energy goes towards taking care of them. Um, so one of, Natalie has two very distinct characteristics throughout the book and one is her box of buttons. And I think this gives a really great insight to what it is like living with somebody with autism she to calm herself down she will put her hands inside a box of buttons and feel them and a quote from the book is moose said that she knew every single button that was in that box because she would it would calm her down and that was a way for her to have some sort of control in her life and i think that was really insightful because i never quite understood why people with autism had things like that that they would kind of gravitate towards another is this was a very big bonding moment between moose and natalie but natalie loved having the index of a book read to her and somehow moose never could figure it out she knew exactly what the index was supposed to say so in order to get her mind off of things like when she was having to be transferred to the school moose would read her an index but he would read it to her incorrectly and she knew exactly what was wrong and he she would actually be able to correct him so that, that's a really interesting fact that is actually very realistic because I think the author, I'm not sure if they had a sibling with autism or if they were closely connected with somebody who had autism, but the way Natalie is portrayed is she is she's not dumb. She's very intelligent and she has these things that she thrives at but she is just not as good at expressing that because she has autism spectrum disorder. Now, Owen Susskind, he is he is such an interesting person. He is extremely talented and you can tell how deeply he feels. So to see him be able to find an outlet for that emotion is incredible because one of the quotes that he asks his mom is he says, why is there so much pain and tragedy? Talking about in the world, why is there so much suffering? Why is there so much pain? Because you know he has gone through so much in his life already. So you know that he feels that so deeply. And it was so important for him to find a way to express that and to emote and to communicate with somebody. So he is a great inspiration to show that people have to find that outlet and you have to be able to encourage that and let that flourish. So some of the takeaways I got from both the book and the film was that importance of encouraging and believing in somebody. Even It's so easy to dismiss people with autism spectrum disorder because we judge and we don't know, we're not educated on it. So I think it really opened my eyes to the importance of including them and encouraging them because they will have a talent, they will have something that helps them. And if we can do that, then we're helping fulfill them and helping them grow as a person and as well as teaching them what we need to teach them. Next is connecting with them on a personal level. So we'll never be able to encourage and believe in them and find that passion that they have if we don't connect with them for, as a person to another person. I think caring about them and valuing them as a person is extremely important when we go about, especially being a teacher, just being able to have that personal relationship with them will be the most rewarding and the most fulfilling for both people. And lastly, it's actually knowing boundaries. I, as I was reading this, I was, it was brought to my attention that I do not know everything. I am not close to knowing everything and I never will know everything about autism spectrum disorder or any other disability. So I think it's really important to know my boundaries in what I can provide for them and what I need to depend on other people for, uh, special educators, parents, and I need to be aware and taking in advice, taking in criticism from people who are more knowledgeable than me on this and they know what is best for the students. So that really sums up how Al Capone does my shirts and Life Animated impacted me. I think it was very eye-opening and it gave me an incredible opportunity to learn and grow 
not only as a teacher, but just as a person who will be interacting with people. So I'm, I'm really grateful and I really loved reading and watching about this. And then here are my references. So thank you.